episode one, I addressed and outlined the question and a topic, should you learn cybersecurity? That is wrong. Should you learn programming for a career in cybersecurity? And at the end, I concluded you should learn programming, at least the foundations as a student. Episode two, I introduced the programming languages that are commonly used throughout the cybersecurity industry. The one that you should start with, Python. Okay, enough of the junk recap and the YouTube junk. Let's go ahead and start episode number three. Episode three addresses where you should learn programming. You hear that squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, so you've determined that you want to program in cybersecurity. You want to program, you want to be that freaking hacker like I was in the beginning, you know, just printing out hello world, freaking hacker, man. Uh, you, you, you've determined the specific language that you want to learn. It's time to pick a platform and commit. Something I do not see students or anyone, honestly, I'm totally guilty of this, is doing this. Buying a course, going 30% of the way in, and then recognizing there's a different course out there, or there's, I, I, it's too hard, or I have, I have too much other obligation, too many ob other obligations, or, or there's just a better, the one that I, gets me is, oh, there's another best or better learning platform for me to learn programming or whatever the concept is. No, what you're gonna do is you're gonna commit to one of these platforms because, well, I'm recommending it, so you should believe me. Just joking, I know I'm a student and I only have, well, limited knowledge and experience. I'm going to go ahead and divide this episode up into two sections. The first section is going to be addressing how you should learn Python uh, because that's the recommended starting language I recommend for students. The second half of the episode is going to be about uh, the various other platforms you can utilize when learning programming itself with any language and that includes Python as well. So for those who want to learn Python and bash scripting, I highlight Python and bash scripting. I recommend the trusty and loyal stationx.net. Now, you could be saying, well, hey, Grant, stationx.net is just rebranded Udemy courses. You're going to just sell me a stationx.net Udemy course? Wait, just wait. There's a few things that stationx.net has that other platforms like Udemy do not. A, StationX has bundles, which means it's not just one courses, it's five course bundle. So for instance, they have a scripting bundle. Uh, they have a penetration tester bundle. They have a Kali Linux. They have a, the complete cybersecurity course, the recommended cybersecurity course for all students, link down below. StationX offers bundles. And what I really love about StationX is that it's just compiled in one platform, one platform that addresses IT security. You know, unlike Udemy, or even other um, other websites like Udacity or Coursera, it just focuses on the IT security side. And I love that. So that when you learn Python, you can advance into different courses that StationX provides. So you learn the fundamentals and you can learn how to hack with Python, you can learn the intermediate with Python, you can learn how to script with Python, all through the bundles of the courses that StationX provides. StationX also provides the scripting bundle course, which includes Python and Bash. I have personally gone through, I think there are five courses I've gone through, all five, really like them. Uh, the, the author of these courses, Jason Cannon, is a great guy. His teaching methods are really good. So I recommend that if you're going to learn Bash, you do also use the scripting uh, bundle that StationX provides. If you want to buy these courses, I have a link below, and this link has included a discount for you to utilize and use, because let's be honest here, as a college broke student, I don't have much money to fork over. So if you do want to buy these courses, I recommend that you use the links below. Where else should you learn programming languages? I recommend two more platforms. First, I recommend Pluralsight. Pluralsight is, it's a great platform. Now I'm near, now you're gonna be telling me, okay, good for you, Grant, good platform. It's a great platform. Uh, it's taught by industry leading experts. 
Um, what other marketing crap can I throw out there? Uh, it's really organized. They have this thing called the Plural Site IQ. Uh, they have these bundle courses, just kind of like Station X. Ooh, and it's a subscription-based um, platform. So it's like a software as a service. It's almost like courses as a service, if that's even a thing. It, it, so basically, it's you pay a flat fee monthly and you get access to every single course. So enough with the promotional crap that I want to jump out there. It's a great learning platform. I have a review that I will link down below uh, on my website, Cyber Intern Academy. And it's basically, it's a great platform for you to utilize for IT certifications and for even programming itself. $35 is not that much. And there's a 14 day free trial Again, link down below if you want to find any of these resources. Udemy, shockingly, I put out Udemy, is the second course, the second platform that I recommend utilize. Here's a reason why, and you can't beat this with Udemy. 97% off for this holiday. Today's holiday was National Chair Day. Well, you can get off 95, 97% off these courses. So basically you're gonna be spending around, I don't know, 10 to $11 per course, which is great depending on the sale that they offer. But Udemy literally offers so many discounted prices throughout the year. So make sure to pick up these courses when they have these discount uh, promotions coming. Udemy, I, again, I can't, you can't beat the price with Udemy. Uh, the, qual the quality of the courses are eh, iffy. Some of them are great, some of them are okay, some of them are just very, they touch the very basics and that's about it. And they're like, okay, buy some other course. Wait, what? one more question. You told me that you should learn the logic behind programming. Um, these courses may not offer that. In episode one, you talked about this. Um, what, what course do you recommend? Had you asked cybersecurity nerd? Uh, no, I would recommend that you don't pick up any of these courses. Just, just joking. Okay. My humor is dry. I understand. I have to work on my humor as, as an IT nerd. I understand that. Anyway, the one, uh, the one course that I recommend now I haven't personally utilized is the Udacity Nano Degree Program Introduction to Programming. This is a four month, I looked it up on the internet, a four month course, $600. You get your nano degree at the end if you've successfully completed it. You're working with a community of students. I really like the idea of Udacity. In fact, I'm probably going to be doing their cybersecurity nano degree eventually in the near future. And so I think if you really wanna learn the foundations behind programming, they also have you learn Python, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, which are all really important for web-based, web front application uh, vulnerability testing. So if you wanna learn the logic behind programming, I really think this is a great compiled course, introduction programming, link down below. And remember, do not be the guy who records himself in a dark room. Okay, that's not good either. And remember, do not be that guy who thinks he's a hacker because he can create the print hello world program and he thinks he's automatically a hacker like that it nerd weird person in the beginning of all of my introductions i hope you guys found these three episode series informational if you did can you recommend it to somebody else ah, that's what all the other youtubers recommend ah. no seriously if you did uh, find these informational that's all i'm trying to do here i'm uh, just trying to help and compile some some information and some resources as a student in cybersecurity. So have a good day, and if you have any questions, let me know.